Hey, Visanta here. So this Geo support build is a more balanced build and a hybrid that prioritizes pillar damage over ultimate damage, elemental burst, and it still hit pretty nice numbers. So let's get to it, yeah? All right, so let's talk about his basic attacks. This is his basic attacks, right? That's the basic attack combo. This is a charge attack. It doesn't do that high of a percentage, and this is more of a geo support build. Don't worry about the physical stuff. Um, you could totally build it. It require a lot of investment, but his ascension gives you geo damage bonus. Um, so we also have the pillar, which summons a pillar, right? Um, you can climb it. It pulses every two seconds. It gives you energy. It's kind of random at the moment. It gives you one or two for zero pending. You also it resonates with other geo constructs. So yeah, see, it poses AOE geo damage, and then we also have the hold E skill, which does also geo AOE damage, and gives you a shield, which is based on your HP. Then we have an OT, which summons a freaking meteor from the sky, and it does uh, petrification damage. I mean, does petrification, not petrification damage, right? It comes in petrify and then freaking crit, um, lasts for like a three seconds or so. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go over his talents. Right? We went over this is the percentage and stuff. Oh, compared to like uh, another spear user. Then we have the pillar. Right? Shield absorption. And then it has additional depending on your max HP. And at the fall, uh, only 40 energy costs. And the cooldown is only 12 seconds for both of these. Uh, you have a hold. Um, if you do a press, it's 4 seconds. So you can kind of spam it. Kind of, and if you hit, you can get an energy. Then we have this, so this talent here. Um, so if you have a J shield, and every time it gets hit, it makes the shield stronger, so it disappears. That's nice, nice thing to have. Then we have this one as when you get to Ascension 4, your max H, your, your elemental bursts will also scale by HP. Of course, it's not as much as attack percentage, but it's like a nice hefty bonus. And then we also have refunds. He refunds full arm weapons with Raptor. For constellations, we have D1, which gives you uh, extra pillar, which is nice. So you can post twice, right? And increase your energy recharge by giving you a better chance, but only kind of slightly because it's RNG. Two pillars don't post with each other though, or with the petrified enemies, fortunately. And we have C2, which actually guarantee you a shield. So you know how you have to hold E to do your shield. You might never need to do that again if you have this. You can just drop it and you just keep refreshing your shields uh, with, your, with your meteor. Then this one, just a regular scale up. We have four, which is pretty nice, right? It increases your, your AOE damage, um, your AOE for your ultimate burst, and it allows you to petrify them for two seconds longer, two seconds extra DPS. Um, this one, extra scale on your ult. Then we have the this one, it allows you to become a healer. So you have a J, J screen, right? And then 40% of the damage that you take from it, it will just heal you. So if you like the extra heal, um, just summon your ult, I guess, and then get hit. Of course, you want to play like you don't get hit. And of course, if you lost your shield from this time, you can just use your holdy and then get it back. And you heal it. Of course, maximum 8% of your character's max HP. All right, so... To maximize the pillar damage, you should run another Geo character that actually gives you constructs, right? Like Ningua, that, that poses also as well, right? And then, oh, well, I could put two because that's C1. Uh, you can also use the Geo Traveler, which is probably what I recommend because he can put his OT down and his OT also counts as the geo construct and it doesn't apply to the three limit per person. So if I put another pillar, right, that one the J screen disappeared. And if I put another rock, um, one of the pillars would disappear. So you can only have three at the same time. Uh we're gonna just gonna get this guy get wrecked. <laughs> All right, so here are my stats for my Zongli. Uh, max HP, attack, crit rate, crit damage, heal damage bonus, and an energy recharge. So these are the most important ones. We can go by scale, 
uh crit rate crit damage is what you kind of want to aim for then you want geo damage of course then you want uh hp and attack are kind of interchangeable in this sense and then you want energy reach so you can do that and let's have priority you kind of just want a little bit of energy recharge just to like get it rolling but yeah okay it's only so we have artifacts here um the power do lie in your artifacts right um, and how much investment you put into it so you see people running nobilis and telling people to run nobilis to capitalize elemental burst damage we're gonna aim for pillar damage so we're gonna go for a gladiator set not the gambler set because there's only a four star version and you don't get the extra stats for doing the extra plus 16 to 20 and you don't get the extra sub stats for getting to plus 20 right and we want a more of a balanced route so we want to go for gladiator to increase your elemental burst and your pillar damage so it is nice and attack gives you more damage compared to hp um for the planet to fall as well so you can think of hp as your bonus damage increases your shields and stuff like that but you want to aim for attack for this case because you're on a rope of rng so if it gives you hp it gives you hp right so we have flower here which is always going to be hp so you want to max this out as you can as well and then you want the substat of course to what i mentioned crit rate crit damage uh hp percent if you have attack that's also good and then some energy recharge you can throw in one of these then we have the fetter same thing always going to be attack same substats and then these other three are more RNG, right? So if you want an attack a main stat for this, um, just so you can capitalize on that pillar damage and also boost your element, your elemental burst damage here. Maybe you want Geo Cup for this for sure. We'll increase them both overall and scale quite nicely. Then we have the crit damage here. It also depends if you have a crit rate weapon or not. So you can kind of want crit damage or crit rate, depending on how much sub stats or your weapon. If your secondary stat or your main weapon gives you crit rate, you can go crit damage. If you need more crit rate, you can go crit rate here. But you can also get crit rate in your sub stats. So um, depending what what RNG gives you. Now we have weapons. Uh, I have using the royal spear. It's not bad. It guaranteed me to get a crit, and since I'm posting every once in a while, that counts too. So we're gonna go over all the other weapons you can kind of use. All right, let's go with, over the five star weapons. Um, I think the best one out of all these for this build will be the Jade Wing Spear. Um, you can also use the Vortex Vanquisher and then the Skyward Spine. Since this is more of doing concentrate on your pillar and more support, um, energy recharge is less of a priority. But uh, if this is a five star, your base attack will scale pretty nicely. So these are all pretty good that you can use for Zhongli for this build. Then we have the Rift, which is kind of iffy because it depends on your normal attacks. Um, we won't be using, doing normal attacks with this build anyway. Probably don't want to use that. This is the Rose Spear, uh, the Prototype Grudge, Energy Recharge. Um, this is kind of useless, in my opinion of uh, you don't use normal charge attacks it's just for an energy recharge stick um but if that's all you got that's all you got right <laughs> then we got the lifted spear we're not doing physical so don't worry about that bonus lance um this is better than the prototype grudge because you do get some energy when you do a crit and stuff so this is not a bad option if that's what you got um but in my opinion um want to capitalize on the damage instead of a more of a support role so this is a hybrid okay it is a hybrid so you can go you can go with this and we got the death match i would think this is better than my rose spear uh, i did you already use my battle pass weapon and i already invested in this otherwise i would wait till next month and i'm not going to wait for that so i'm probably going to like just bank on a five star but this is better it gives you create and it gives you extra attack which is nice this is probably one of the best four star weapons that you use for this specific build. Um, we're not doing physical damage here, so we're not going to worry about do that much. Black Cliff is also a good option, gives you crit damage. But the only downfall is that this, this extra buff here is kind of eh. Because once you do a Spiral Abyss, those monsters take a while to kill. And it's kinda, this, this buff is going to be kind of useless. So you're going to use this for a crit damage stick, but um, Deathmatch. Deathmatch is the way to go.
then Royal Spear is also nice because they give, guarantee your crit rate as well. So, and give you extra attack percentage. Um, these weapons are a little iffy because of the norm. It actually increases your normal attacks. So I don't know if you want to use three star weapons. So, but the Zongli seems like a more of a high end, high investment kind of character. So you might want to wait out a bit if you have a chance. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts for weapons. All right, so I do have some pre-recorded battles. Um, me using Zongli with Geo MC and Bennett and Chung Yun in like Abyss and stuff. So I'm just gonna show you that. You guys can judge for yourself. Um, it's not too bad, right? I clear four twelve. So All right, this is just one. Oh hell no! Okay, we're gonna petrify. Him. I will have order. Rise. Going in. Adventure time. Twist and merciful. Submit for judgment. Crumble. Yeah. That was quick. Move a child. Um, I'm not sure to be honest, because then Shinyan works with like how you say it. This is order. Physical? Shinyan used like physical stuff. I'll stay down. To wait, right? This time I don't even wait because it's just that annoying. Order guide you. Yeah. Rise. 
There we go. Alright, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and find this helpful. Um, if you have any comments and stuff, put it in down below or come to my Twitch stream. Uh, my social is also down in the description. And um, I do have some of these four clips on another video, which is by like a bis runs and stuff. But I pretty much just took them kind of from there and put them over here. But yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully guys, I'll see you guys next time. That later days.